Cube mapping in 3D Coats has recently received some significant enhancements that provide more control for the user when using this as the projection type with either smart materials or stencils. For example, if I'm using a rock texture like this, perhaps I want to change the direction of the material at the top but leave it intact here on the sides, I can click on the Settings button for Cube Mapping right here. I have this dialog box that allows me to adjust along the different axes. I can rotate the texture along the X, Y, and Z. And I'm going to increase the sharpness. This allows you to either sharpen or blur the lines between the different axis projections. You can also use expansion in order to increase or decrease the expansion of the boundary of each axis projection. So let's say I want the top to be a little bit more dominant in its projection and less sharp. I can just flip it entirely. I'm going to reset these back. And this one as well. And if that looks good, I can leave it and hit OK. And that's a quick look at the newly expanded settings for cube mapping in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.